Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you all for taking the time to support this Magic the Gathering Arena Deck Guide video in which I myself, Hello Good Game, will be um, you know discussing our latest creation, the Black Hole. Um, first, starting out with some of the strategies and synergies held within the build, providing you with a deeper understanding of how to pilot the deck effectively. Uh, and then we're going to demonstrate all of that within our Mythic Ranked gameplay footage against some of the best decks, as well as players in the game client. And uh, of course, we'll wrap up with our channel news and deck review. If you want to help out, you already know what to do. Uh, thank you all so much. And let's just talk about the deck. Uh, the Black Hole is a mono black mid range deck focused around the Doomsday um, Excruciator for six mana. This is a six six with flying, and when it enters, if it was cast, each player is going to exile all but the bottom six cards of their library face down, uh, which is actually kind of annoying that they're face down. You can't really see what you've lost in your deck. Um, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you're going to draw a card, which isn't great. Um, but, you know, we have ways to kind of circumvent that um, negative feature to the card. Um, we don't want to draw once it's been played more cards than our opponent. So we like to, you know, use it as a blocker or just, you know, it's a 6-6, six, six, so it puts them on quite the clock as well. Um, so, you know, at the same time, they're needing to deal with it as well. And now you get yourself into a scenario if you can't remove it right away that uh, they just need to remove it after you've drawn some cards before they die, right? Um, and so this is, you know, kind of the downside to that potentially. It's never going to happen, right? Um, you know, if they remove it, great news. If they don't remove it, you're going to just win the game uh, through hits. Uh, the chance that they understand the card well enough to wait until it hits them a few times, allowing you to draw and then removing it is unlikely, right? Um, so that's cool. That's what we're building around here within the deck. And then, uh, of course, we're just going to hyper mill uh, their last... Uh, little, uh, you know, the remaining cards that they have, right? So a great way to do that uh, will be the Gnawing Vermin for one, a 1-1, one, one, and uh, when it enters, target player mills two cards. You know, it's as simple as that. We also have the Insatiable Aversice, uh for one plus the Spree of two. For a total of three at Sorcery, target player draws three cards and loses three life, right? Um, and that is going to propel... Uh, them ahead of you within, um, you know, that mill uh, reaching zero cards and losing the game that this presents as it really does uh, limit the length of the games, which is quite nice. So um, it's not just that, though. We can also maybe throw something like the talent into the mix um, for one mana. Whenever one or more creatures you control dies, create a food token, and then we can sacrifice the food to have target player mill two cards at level two for two mana. Uh, again, that's a really easy way to just reduce the remaining library size and win the game. Uh, level three, you can bring stuff back. You don't really need to. It's mostly here for the mill. And, um, you know, that's quite cool for us. Aside from that, um, it's the sacrifice trigger that we like here. So we have Liliana in deck. Uh, target player sacrifices a creature for minus two. Uh, also... Target, uh, separate all permanents, target player controls into two piles and then sacrifice all permanents in the pile of their choice. Um, you know, with the level two of the talent, uh, both of these um, abilities are quite substantial um, within their value of the deck because you can target yourself as well. So it's nice to just target your opponent because it's Liliana and she's great. But if you happen to have the talent in play, you happen to have their library decimated with Doomsday then you can uh, minus six and win the game. You can even minus two and probably win the game as well, um, which is pretty cool. Of course, that will allow us to potentially remove the Doomsday ourself, uh, one of the ways. We also can force remove it ourselves with a bitter triumph, um, you know, just destroying it, that's fine. Um, the Meat Hook Massacre is a, uh, well, my favorite uh, way to deal with it. Uh, each player sacrifices X creatures, you know, so you're going to easily just remove it uh, post attack 
and then you know you're also going to force them to mill so you know it's it's the bee's knees and then they also have to sacrifice something which is cool um you're gonna pay three life if you do return that uh, to the battlefield under your control with the finality counter on it which is great you know that's actually really good to close out the game for you as well um and then you know they can do the same uh which is pretty decent right so um we like that and um you know it's an additional way to not only mitigate their field state but really help us close out in a hurry uh ramping into everything with the greedy freebooter and additional control with cutdown um you know keeping it classy and then you know on that removal front which there is plenty of we will also have um the deadly cover-up you know um destroying all creatures you can collect evidence and then you know nuke something from their library which is pretty cool and we'll also add the virtue of persistence lock Thwain, scorn to that mix of removal minus three minus three gain two life which is great uh so like, you see how much of the deck is removal it, it's quite substantial um Ashok's pretty decent here you can uh plus one to grab a card which is decent you know exile one and then put the other in hand you can also minus two just to create the nightmares which is pretty decent they're great for sacrificing they're great for jump blocking and prolonging the match and then minus seven would i guess just win you the game which is pretty cool there as well and then 24 swamps because of the uh you know the triple or no the the, the six tuple um that are required there which is pretty aggressive and also with me took as well um it's a lot of black mana needed in this deck so uh, i'm not really running any fancy lands here so that's that that's the build uh the black hole we're calling it uh you know it's it's kind of crazy how well it's working um you know Typically surviving until turn six, is, it's a little aggressive, and then you're going to need to survive like another turn or two to close out the match. Um, sometimes we can ramp into it, and you know, then it's turn five, and then winning turn six, turn seven. Um, not that big of a problem because we have so much removal and interaction within the deck that is, you know, it's really easy to prolong those matches, right? So I hope you enjoy. Um, you know, certainly a fresh take on mono black that. It just feels rewarding. You, you know, you get all, you're getting like a lot of domain decks, uh, Zorius control, things like this, right? And uh, they want to go on long, right? They want to have a long game. And you can kind of go along with that plan and then just pull the plug on it, which is fantastic, right? It's like, you know, they're going slow. They're just looking to, you know, hold control and, um, you know, ramp out. And you're doing that same thing. And then, you know, you've now milled or, or solar flared or black holed their entire library. And uh, then you're forcing them to draw. A lot of their deck is also draw oriented. Um, so it's great. You know, it's just like a really, really good match in the, you know, the current meta, which is fairly new after a new set. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm liking it. So I hope you do as well. Of course, deck list in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community discord, but kick back, relax, most importantly, and enjoy. Our opponent will be going first. Let's keep seven. I mean, could it ever be that bad? I'll take the treasure early on. Also the blockers for Lily. Uh, I don't think it matters much because we're going to most likely just double drop here. Take that second blocker with our first talent. Get our mill on. That is a card that would dunk Adelphia on me. Woo! Okay, okay. Is that creatures or permanents? All oh, other permanents. I see you. Oh. Okay, so that sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, I'll humor them. Not playing anything, though. They just leave it sit there. They don't. They go right for it, which is kind of strange. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, they literally could have just left it as a threat. I think that would have been the play. Removal goes, I don't think I need to remove. And then we reassemble the Titans. I 
Again, I'm not sure they have much of a threat that way. It's probably a control deck as, as they play that exact threat. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's get you out. And we'll pass over. They have massive card advantage here. Okay. Oh, we're back, baby. Just when I thought we were in trouble, Ashiok comes in and totally redeems us. Let's make some Toucan Sams. I'm just going to go ahead and get this out there. Okay, experimental augury main phase, looking for a land, I assume. We see it enter here, three left in hand, three available mana on the turn. No, oh, 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 that's so sad. I'll take the land, though. And I shall look for more land. All right, let's just mill them. Preemptively get rid of some of that removal. This is good, but not a land. I need a land. There it is. They're there. And we can hit for three. Sixty-eight cards in library. Wow, why is it so big? It would be a shame if someone flared it. Mono black flare, solar flare. That is what this card is, is a solar flare card. If we're classifying it. We used to have Esper Solar Flare. Right? With what was that like Ulamog or something that just would melt someone's li whole library? Um Oh, that kind of sucks though. I needed that to finish the game faster. Hmm. But they're tapped out. Uh shuffle target creature with men value three. Oh. Back into your library, you say. Four cards. Seventy two cards here. This is just poetic. Oh, no, it's definitely poetic now. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Where'd they go? Wrecked. Oh, they had the removal spell. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, that's not bad, and they get another from the library. <whistles> Just hang out. I don't want to make them draw beforehand. Uh, this will do this next turn, right? Let's just pass over. As long as they don't have a counter spell, and then even then, we I guess we just wait them out. They have four. We're going to force them to draw three. All right. We have single target. We have that field wipe, so a lot of protection on the back end as we wait. Cats, am I right? Making such a ruckus. All right, they're tapped out. That's okay. There's really no need. Just force them to draw. 
And there's the win. Oh, I was going to say they uh, could have that blue creature if it died. It's a good thing we didn't kill this because then they could have shuffled back in. Oh, man. Because I thought I considered killing this. It's a good thing we didn't kill this because then the virtue would have brought it back and they could have shuffled graveyard into library and outlasted me. <gasps> All right, going first. Let's keep seven. A lot of Azorius-based decks. Um, this is great. I guess let's just search, right? Or wait it out. I don't even mind just taking the triple draw. But our hand is too big for that. We'd have to discard. I'll take Ashiok. Hmm, I like that. That's quite good. So as long as I don't get that armor too quickly. I think they'll have hexproof, but not indestructible. Not a counter spell. Interesting. This, we can't uh, defend that. But it's okay. I think they had like a hexproof aura. Ooh. That's quite good. Four mana. Ashok is. Dunzo Washington, but they don't get the draw. I don't think they need it. Mockingbird! <laughs> Bully. Being mocked is like... Not okay. A little rude. So, this is where things get a little weird. We have collect evidence. Let's pull bait. Maybe they don't want to lose it. Does it go through? If there was ever time for a counter spell, this would be it. Specifically as I tried to bait the, you know, attack first. I like taking this though. I know the bird's pretty good, but oh, that's good. But they need a creature to put it on. Bro, they have no creatures. And only three in library. What else? They have the Hall Creeper, the Optimist, more birds. Done. Okay. I like this deck. You got to make sure to have enough creatures, though, right? Hidden with the heater. Ooh. 
And then we're going to force advantage with a mill on top. Right? So now, you know, we have six, but they only have four. And then it's their turn, so they draw to three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keeping seven on the draw. Oh, we got some one drops, and, you know, there's some removal here if it is an aggro deck. So I'm okay with it. Freebooters are go, ramping into our Ashiok. Let's take our hit. See what we're dealing with. Ooh, that's a good card. That's cool land art. Cute lighthouse. <laughs> this one's cool too. Man, I would not want to be in a suit. Being in the sewer is bad enough. There's like, ghost arms in this. I'm kind of nervous. Land cycling decks sometimes are really good. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. I get a little treasure. I get a little scry. Well, I guess I could have just held on and let them do it. In hindsight, they might not do it, though, because I did it myself. No, they do it. Okay. We can't control those things, though, right? Bro. Bro. I'm doing it. I know we could wait, but... I want to go right to London about it. All I need is one land. I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's there. What does that do? Woo! <laughs> and he gets the win! <laughs> I guess I've killed Sirius Black. <laughs> Some blockers for fun. I have four cards in hand. This, uh, or in deck, they have one. This is a draw engine, which I'm not sure you want to activate anymore. Nice. All right. Uh, on the draw, ooh, I don't know. I really wish I had my third land. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, there it is. And this is kind of like a later card. kind of already have everything I need. <laughs> is this deck making HGG go evil? Yeah, I mean, tis the season though, right? I'm going to lean into my spooky side this, you know, next month and a half here. Absolutely. No! Okay, so we're going to look for some more land here, though, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, You're a bully. But, you know, it doesn't ruin the game. Nice. Appreciate you. Still looking for our fifth. I don't mind having two Ashoks either. Cause there's good 
Hmm. That's a good chance to first get dealt with. I'll take a deadly dispute. I'm gonna hold off on it for now in case it is something else. It's probably like a Gix, right? Gixy Doodle went to town. Oh! That's actually frustrating. That's a good card. Out of anger, I will remove their bat. And then I think discard Virtue instead of Ashok. What do you think of that? I like that. Watch us top deck a cut down and we could have removed Shieldred. I will cry. Yes, the fifth land. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now we have A, a chump locker, B, a sacrifice target for you. And then again, top decking another land, obviously. Which we could do with a plus. No, 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 no. That's not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> the Batman. <laughs> the Riddler when he's in the jail cell. <laughs> I got to get that as a clip. Okay, so we're back. where, we, And that's why we wanted two Ash Shucks. Because, you know, you if you've played Arena for more than one day, you understand that's about to happen to you. Oh, this is good, though. Keep the land to discard if you're forced to. I think that's respectable. Good idea, dude. Keep the land. Because Lily might plus here. I don't know that she won't. Hey, that's a draw engine, I heard. What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it, Lily? That's what I thought. I got you all figured out, girl. Discard yourself. <laughs> That's cute. Ooh, take the damage? Nah. That's incredibly irresponsible. That <laughs> basically means I'm them now, you know? But this is good. Oh. Oh. Oh, goodbye, Ontario. Can I have some more blockers, please? Thank you. Let's push the crew up. Oakley dokely. Okay, so they're no, no, they will still get a draw though, right? Or no draw, just the token here. Lily can plus freely. Or minus, it doesn't matter. She dies next turn. Shieldred might win the game, though. Like, there's a problem here. Do I blo just block Shieldred? Oh my god, I do, don't I? I just block Shieldred. That draw hurt them, though. I don't want to draw a card. They're at four. I'm at six. I think this is just a win. Ashok just sits there. I think this is the way. Ooh! <laughs> Woo! Hold it? No, because she'll force me to discard it. Do we have removal in deck? It doesn't tell us. And it doesn't show us. I don't know if there's removal in deck. I don't want to draw, though. 
because that's two cards. What if it's not removal? We're still technically ahead, and it is removal. Exile the land, keep the removal. But then Lily's going to force discard. I think we still just plus. Searching for a card wouldn't have been bad. We don't have the mana to do both, though. Oh, it just puts it on top. A rat would have been really good. This will also do it. We're at three. They're at zero. They have to kill us. I was kind of being greedy, hope like, you know, maybe we can find some removal and deal with that as well, but, you know, the Greed Lord lives longer uh, than he should here, I think. <laughs> That's so close. They just need one more. <laughs> One damage. The bat forces them to draw. Good game. Oh my lord, have mercy. So are we better than the, you know, the uh, traditional mono block deck? One could make that argument based on this match. Just saying. Our opponent will be going first. Let's keep seven. An acceptable curve. Talent out. This is okay. Um, let's go with the Freebooter. I like the Scry early on, uh, helping us get those lands, right? Beautiful. Second land, always helpful. Um, they're going to prowess that up, which I don't really appreciate. I'm going to field wipe, so I'm going to save the single target removal for after that field wipe. Um, so let's just stack up some creatures. We mill a counterspell and a land. No attack, pass over. Another talent. Oh my gosh. That meat hook is expensive. It's got my attention though. Pass over. I mean, you know, we're just kind of biding our time. Virtuing a land into play that will also be prowess triggers. It's in untapped three mana. So I've got it on a stack. Remove if I wanted, but again, you know, we're just going to hold out and then get hit with the counter spell instead, right? Because, you know, I'm sure there will be more than just the one, which we've already seen. I mean, yes, we've dealt with one. That's a big deal. Um, good for us, of course. This is good for us, too, right? Those treasures really help. Let's pass over. Um, Mito could straight up just enter. Oh, that's good, though. Uh, life 
a loss, not really how we're winning. Um, so other than the ramp, it's irrelevant. The ramp is actually quite scary, though. No land. Let's pull a counterspell. Nothing. No interaction whatsoever. Um, whatever. I'll attack. Still nothing. I was expecting a prowess trigger. Um, and that's the reason I was holding back a little bit, right? Season. Okay. Um, drawing a card... Creating a token uh, copy of the artifact times two. That's a lot of manners. Where is my land? I mean, I guess. I think we're basically locked out at this point with the season talent cycle. It's an ETB, which is quite good for us, though. Yeah. Oh, wow. We are definitely getting looped out. Because you can replay them from the grave with the talent, and they're just ramping, gaining cards, uh, gaining life, gaining uh, more mana availability. Let's just take that, I guess. The first of many threats, I'm sure. Our fifth land. Oh, we're getting closer. So we do need six for Meetook. Just looking for our sixth. And, uh, you know, then it's all who has what. Um... Because this is exile, so they are still left with a little bit, actually, but we should be okay. Are they going to doppelgang Adelphia me? Bro. We're already in way over our head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that counter spell that just murders us. Okay. So that's problematic. Did they just overtap? I think you see two mana up. And there's the field wipe giving us treasures on the turn. No treasures, just a draw. Smart. We get to land anyways. <laughs> oh. I'm going to attack first. Because this is our last chance to do anything. After this, that counter spell is up. So I think we go right to dunking on them and see what they have. Which is an attack... First and foremost. Oh, that t triple taps the land. But it was a forest. I forgot about this. I almost got burnt. As soon as I cast it, I was like, no, it triple taps for mana. But we got lucky because it was a forest. And I knew that the whole time. <laughs> oh my gosh, HGG. You are too much. Well... Let's see if we... Oh, we're just going to die. Not... Well, that counterspell's still there, so actually, yes, we will. So, like, yeah, we don't have a follow-up is the thing because of that counterspell. Which is unfortunate. And they are casting some big spells, baby. Oh, my gosh. Woo! 
I'm going to take him to London. If not that counter spell, we would win. And we're taking 50. Yeah, we're dead is the thing. Just another field wipe. And even at that, they have so much mana, right? That virtue really sends the deck over the top. And, you know, like they have 100 mana and I have six. So this counterspell literally saves them. Which is impressive. So I'm just going to still do it. Four mana. Maybe they're going to counter that. I mean, we can bait it. They don't read, they just counter spell. Right? I'm playing against myself. The card lights up, you cast it. This looks cool. It's a mythic. Let's counter it. Nah, didn't go for the bait. We had to try, though. We had to try. I'm not even going to do that. There's no point. Because this, again, is countered and we are dead. Adelphia. Good game, everyone. Nice win. We're close. Again, you know, just saved by one of the best cards in game, actually, if you think about it. Like, this is a little bit extra. You know, there's too much tuna. Fantastic. The Black Hole. Um, pretty cool deck. You know, the uh, Excruciator. A new card within Duskmorn that uh, is actually performing. It's very boxed in. You know, like this is probably the only deck you're going to play it in um, for the most part um, because of its mana cost. But it's working. It's actually performing quite nicely. Um, I think that we're probably going to add um, into the deck the Cavern. And that's really going to help us get uh, some more consistent wins as we can name Demon. Right, we can name demon, and then uh, you know, within those longer matches, because you know, if it's an aggro deck, it's no problem. We'll just remove all your stuff. But sometimes it's a control deck, and they've got the counter spell, and that can suck. So um, I think that cavern can go a long way in mitigating uh, any of that, and further improve the deck. If you have any ideas, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, you know, of course, thank you all so much for watching. We'll cover. Uh, a few of the other cards that I considered in the build as well before we close out here. Uh, Tiny Bones, you know, it's a discard. Uh, search with the Demonic Council. We uh, took the Avarice instead because it can force draw as well as tutor. Um, fake your own death, you know, this could be good on like the Freebooter or something. Um, earlier field control through the Eclipse. Uh, not bad, but single target seems to be working good enough. Screen within ramp. I don't think that's necessary. Um, we don't like to mill, so that's why the Overlord didn't make it. Uh, I, I honestly was considering it, though, when we started. Uh, convoking could be pretty cool, but I don't think we have enough creatures here. Um, the journal to draw. Also, sacrificing is pretty good. Uh, we are considering it, but you know, it just wasn't good enough. Gumdrop Poisoner, I think, could be good enough, though. Uh, that's one of those cards that really is quite nice here. Um, not that any of these cards are bad. Uh, just some are obviously maybe a little bit better than others. And then if we needed enchantment control, we could take the Torment. I don't know. Just considering it. And then Valgoth, but, uh, you know, unnecessary. I think the Doomsday is good enough. Um, you know, it shouldn't be a problem just to rely on that i think and uh the three copies does seem to be okay um again if you have any uh thoughts or opinions comments below have an absolute magical day thank you all so much and i'll see you soon in the next